Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another lucky bag opening of Fukubukuro to share with you guys today. Uh, if you're not familiar in Japan for New Year's, a uh, really popular thing to go buy on the first day of the New Year during Hatsuri, which is the first sale of the day, of the year I mean, people will often go and get these lucky bags, these Fukubukuros. And uh, different stores will sell them and have different things available. And this is one of my favorites to get every year. It's a special one that's available at Yon stores. Um, and I don't know if that's true for other locations, but the local one near us is like this. And every year they have a character bag. And it usually is Sanex characters, primarily uh, Rirakuma, but sometimes uh, Sumiko, Gurashi, and things like that are in there too. So it depends on what uh, you're looking for. But they tell you, kind of, they show you a sample of what's inside. Um, outside the bag so you know what you're kind of getting into uh, but the uh, it's only a thousand yen and for Sanrio and for Sanex things too that's a pretty good deal to get so many things for that so I wanted to show you guys I'm just going to open this puppy up and see I've already taken the knot off let's see what we got in here lots of stuff Ooh, what's all in there that looks cute that pouch looks cute and like I said I kind of know what's in here already because they had this as a display but you never know if it's gonna be the exact same design. Maybe the uh, pouch itself would be a little different design. This was exactly the same as what was displayed. This is adorable, it's huge too. It's got that neat kind of like waterproof vinyl finish to it too. So this would be perfect for, you know, having to keep, you know, when you go traveling to have like your shampoo and stuff like that in, perfect for makeup. Nice sturdy case, that's gonna hold up really well. A lot better than getting something at the 100 yen store. And look at this little guy, the little charm on the side is an acorn. That is so cute. So this features Didakuma and Kodidakuma hanging out in the forest being adorable with acorns, cause that's so cute. So a uh, very adorable kind of design for sure. Kind of gets zoomed in better so you can see the kind of true quality of it. It's, you know, it's Sun X stuff, so it's uh, gonna be a really good quality, definitely. This, just by itself, is 1,480 yen. So I've already gone over the price of what is in this bag, just with one item. Really good deal. If you know you like these kind of character goods and you know you want to spend this kind of money on these things, this can be such a good deal to get stuff like this. So that was in there. Let's see what else we have. Blindly. Oh, yeah, one of these. Yeah, this was on the display too. This is a uh, Fudebako, a pencil case. And this is the classic style that you see a lot of the kids use when they're like first, uh, kindergarten, first and second grade. Usually, by the time they get into third grade, the, they stop using this because they think it's too kid-like and they start, you know, trying to use the cooler, older kid kind of things like pouches and stuff. But this is a classic design. You open it up and there's two places. This side's more flat. You can put like your ruler on this side. This side has room for a uh, little place to slide in your pencils to hold about five of them. And there's a pencil sharpener included. So the classic thing that people would have. And that's kind of a cute little design there with cake on top. Uh, the design might have been different on the display. I'm not sure exactly, but it was pretty similar. Now these things are expensive. This is 1,500 yen. Again, already more than what we paid for the bag. So if you know you have somebody that wants to go to school soon, <laughs> you'd want to get one of these because I, I never wanted to spend this much money for my girls ones. I always tried to wait until they were on sale because that's a lot of money to spend. Usually try to get your grandparents to do that for you. They buy it. <laughs> but that's cute. Super adorable. So that's a good thing to have. And you know, if you can't, if you don't want the stuff that's in here, you can sell that online. <laughs> get some money, huh? Oh, I love this. Look at that sketchbook design. That is so cute. This is a classic design sketchbook brand that's available that has this green and orange juxtaposition kind of design here. It's made by Maruma. And normally, you know, you just buy that and it has really nice, good high grade uh, paper for you to draw on. Makes a really cute uh, autograph book too, I think. Um, but then there's, there's Hidakuma and Korirakuma like hiding around in it. That's adorable. 
you see these actually in all different kinds of characters um, and different kinds of anime characters and stuff too. It's really popular to do a collaboration with these guys. So uh, this is a common thing too that you could get a bunch of sketchbooks and have them as like collector's items. They're really adorable. So I think there's like um, 24 sheets in it. So it's a pretty nice good amount. And it's normally 350 yen. So a nice thing to have free in not free but only for ten dollars for all of this really good deal so now we have this funny little towel this is a little towel it's a hand towel uh by uh sumiko gurashi which is a cute brand from sonex that features these little tiny animals and leftover foods that hide in the corner of your house and the idea of this character or mascot towel is that it rolls together and if you roll it perfectly then you can see the little hands and the and the face um, and then it kind of connects with this cute little button and fastener on the other side it's really adorable so that makes for a really great kind of gift for people and it's 600 yen that's like a lot of money <laughs> I mean it's Sonic so it's brand stuff it's always expensive but you know getting something like this that can be a great gift for somebody if you want to give them something for some big event that they achieved or something going back to school stuff like that very cool um, and then we have this. Oh, that's cute. It's a loop clip. Okay. So we have the, again, Sumiko Gorashi character. Now this is one that's a little more popular, that cat character, the, the nickel cat, and then the little tiny uh, guy there, the little bird. Um, uh, or I guess he's not a bird. He's something else. Tabioka. Yeah. But these guys then clip onto a towel, and you can use that to hang on to, to just have a towel hanging up. These work are really popular for um, kindergarten aged kids and kids that go to like uh, preschool too. They have to have a way to hang the towel that they use at school to dry their hands and stuff. So having a clip like that is adorable. Then you don't have to worry about sewing one on. You can put that on any towel that you like. So that could be pretty cool. And you know, that's totally what it's being marketed for. It's 600 yen for that. Expensive. Ooh, I would not pay that much money for that normally. What else we got in here? A hair band. Oh, cute. With Kori Dakum on it. Oh, that's so cute. And it has a little charm on it, too. With a little clover mark. That's adorable. And it's like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a really thick plastic. Nice, hard plastic. So if you have, you can make a really, that's 800 yen for that. Wow. That's a lot of money. So, good deal, right? You can have a cute little Kori Dakum on your back of your head when you put up your ponytail with that. So cute. I always have trouble with this because my hair is a lot thinner and uh, so I can't make a ponytail big enough for that to stand out, right? Look a little weird. <laughs> oh, what's this? Weird. A fork. Okay, sure. Who doesn't want a fork? All right, and this has, as you can see here, this has Ridakuma hiding on it. How funny is that? Okay, so here is... A, I mean, this is a heavy, significant, normal-sized fork, you know, that you would have in your house. Uh, how much is this? This is funny. Okay, let's see here. 800 yen. Wow. I didn't pay that much for my entire set when I bought it at Ikea, I think. <laughs> so if you are just starting out and you want to have super cute stuff in your house and you're single, it's really fun to get cute silverware. And so selling just these single kinds of forks and spoons and stuff can be a lot of fun. People like to get those and have really cute stuff when you eat because, you know, it makes you happier when you're trying to trudge through the morning to get ready to go somewhere to work to have, you know, the duck smiling at you as you eat. So that's a good thing. All right, what else do we have in here? I think this is the last thing. Yep. This is the last thing. What is this weird little guy here? Okay. Sumiko Gurashi. Hashioki. Okay, so this is for you to put your hashi or chopsticks on as good manners so that they don't just sit on the table when you're eating uh, and dirty up the table. So these are common to have for that. And this, I love it when they do these kinds of collaborations where it looks sort of like old style ceramics. This is a ceramic piece, a little a plate that is used for that. So it's perfect. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All those little guys hiding around the corner. Oh, that's adorable. And that's sort of the style of if you if you were to buy these in the old school way, they're a lot of times made with this blue uh, dot, um, you know, ink or dye, or what do you call that? 
I can't think of the word in ceramics that you use for that. I'm sorry. It's going to come to me later. But this is sort of like a sign that they would have like a hanko to show who made it too. So and they make it kind of look like that. That is adorable. How cute. You could just have it as a plate. But it really is for putting your hashi on when you're eating. So that's cute. Good thing to have. Wow. So, and wait, does it say how much this is? I got to know. 500 yen. $5 just for that. Sure. <laughs> so I love getting this because I love Dr. Mike. He's adorable. But I can't buy and afford all this stuff normally. It just is way too expensive. So I love getting these and getting a chance. Let me zoom out. I know that's not in focus. Love getting these and having the chance to have all these great things just for $10 and you get all this. And that's easily, I mean, just this alone. These two here is just $30. 40 for the fork, right? It's, it all adds up pretty fast. This was what, 800 yen? Yeah, 48, 50. I mean, we're, we're easily looking at five, almost six times worth the cost that I paid to get all this. So if I know it's not an ideal time to be traveling. People like to be home during the holidays. But if you guys can come to Japan during New Year's, it's so fun here to be here during New Year's. Uh, such a different kind of thing to experience culturally. And it's a great time to go shopping too. So if you think you can work it into your schedules, I definitely recommend it if you guys are coming out. It's cold, depending on where you go. But, you know, you could survive. It'll be all right. <laughs> so I did happen to buy two of these. And to just let you guys know, um, let's see if it's any different. I'm going to open it up real quick here. In the other one, okay, different kind of style of this guy. This is a different color. Still the same kind of thing, though. It's a uh, Fudebako or pencil case. Same kind of pouch. Same kind of notebook. Same kind of towel. Same kind of fork. <laughs> they could at least give us a spoon in the other one, don't you think? Same kind of hook. Same kind of hair gum. All right. And uh, same kind of hashioki. So... That's exactly the same. So the only thing that was different was this. Um, you know, if you like having, that's good to have extra though. I can share these with my daughters and they won't fight over it. But um, it's still a really good deal. It's good, worth getting them. And I went on New Year's Day when it was open and the stores opened, I think at nine or 10. We were there at 11 and I bought one of the last four or five that were left. They only have maybe 20 or 30 of them out usually. So keep that in mind. You don't want to just mosey on in later on in the day or don't go the next day because they'll all be gone by then. So that's kind of a cool thing to show though. So I have some more lucky bags to share with you guys in the days to come. So look for those. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.